welcome or welcome back if you're an og subscriber how are you doing today so today's video is going to be a nighttime skincare routine video i realized that some of my skincare routine videos might give off a product review vibe so that's why i decided to do this video to show proper practicalization the sequence on how i use this product the tips and tricks how I mix them together. I realized that most of my videos on skincare do not really um, encompass that. So that's why I decided to do this video. And in a bit for it not to be too long, I decided to just break it down. So this one will just be my night time and then the next one will be my morning time. Um, this is just on a basic simple night that I'm not doing anything extra. I'm not doing no treatment, steaming and all that. You know, just the regular, go to bed with me video this is supposed to be an interesting one i'm sure you're going to learn something new there's probably something in your routine that's wrong that you're doing wrong or something that is missing so i hope you enjoy this video and if you do go ahead and give me the thumbs up button i would like that youtube will like that the algorithm will like that jesus will like that the universe will like that just go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you found this video interesting and don't forget to subscribe let's get the very first step to my nighttime routine is washing my hands a lot of people do not know this step or they completely skip it but i'm here to tell you the bacteria is all over our hands from doorknobs to desks shopping carts your phone this is you've been a lot of places and your hands have collected a lot of dirt your face is a warm home for bacteria, so wash your hands before washing your face to prevent any transfer of bacteria which can cause acne or skin infections. And remember to apply the 60 seconds rule just like in your COVID-19 precautions. So for my OCM, which is the oil cleansing method, I use this Bloom Lightning and Nourishing Luxury Body Oil from Extravagant Glow. I'm going to drop their details in the description box just in case you want to get one. But um, this is actually my body oil, but I use it as my wash of oil because it's really lightweight. And because it has a bit of lightening effect, I use it to target my hyperpigmentations and my sunburn. But if you do not know about oil cleansing method, I suggest that you do a little bit of research on it and come back and thank me later. But before that, I'm going to say a few things. So first of all, have you tried to use soap to wash off a very oily plate do you see how difficult it is for you to get off oil with just soap so that's where this oil cleansing method comes in oil dissolves oil so for those of us that wear a lot of makeup during the day or people like me that wear a lot of sunscreen and sunscreen is uh, formulated with a lot of harsh uh, chemicals so sometimes just soap might not be able to dissolve it so that's where this oil cleansing method comes in i since i discovered this method and since i started to use it i haven't been able to look back it leaves my skin clean but then not stripped if that makes any sense because the conventional uh, face cleansers or soaps just strips your face of all its natural oils without replenishing anything I also use this opportunity to give my face a well-deserved massage which targets fine lines and wrinkles and also helps to encourage collagen formation and blood circulation. And also in this video, we're going to be applying the 60 seconds rule a lot because it's been said that for anything to work, be it trying to kill off bacteria off your hands by washing your hands or applying products on your face, whatever it is, you have to at least be at it for 60 seconds. That's one minute for it to work. So to wash my face, I also use this 
glow black wash from extravagant glow like i already said earlier i'll leave their details in the description box just in case you want to get it but i just want to say this i am able to get away with using a black soap to wash my face because i already prepped my face with an oil so guess what it's not going to strip my skin because we all know black soap is quite stripping it like leaves your face quickly clean so yeah i use this black soap from um extravagance glow and then i also apply the 60 seconds rule to uh, my face while washing it i either hum a song or set a timer or just count to 60 while doing that and guys i would also say this try not to wash your face in the shower because your pores might get clogged from you know the the humectants from other body products that you use if that makes any sense so if you can wash your face in the sink okay and not in the shower since i started to do that there i have really problematic sensitive and oily and acne prone skin so use me as a lab rat take everything i say with a full glass of water because this is something i've struggled with for and years i think i can say that i'm finally starting to understand my skin i'm also going to say this guys don't use bar soaps on your face they have a lot of sulfur and they can be quite stripping and if you're not able to get your hands on the oil that i mentioned earlier and you, or rather or you would rather something else i'd advise you use jojoba oil that's the best um uh oil cleanser that i know that is great for acne prone skin or you can use avocado oil that's also super hydrating or sunflower seed oil safflower seed oil or olive oil you can also use castor oil but it's quite thick and can be a little bit drying but it's antibacterial so it's also good so usually what i do to wash off i just let water run through my face uh, for the purpose of this video i'm trying to like wash my skin with my hands but on a regular day i just take water in a bowl and just run it over my face because i feel like i have already touched my face a lot and i wouldn't want to um i would say aggravate it any further so to dry off my face i use a clean towel to just pat i don't rub I just pat to let the water dry off because remember if you do not have to aggravate your skin don't um, you can also just let it to air dry or use cutting pads but the environmentalists are going to come for my head for recommending that because uh, they say it's not a recyclable recycle rec you know you cannot recycle it but it always just lay air dry which is what i mostly do or just use a clean towel to pat dry okay So once I get off the shower, I start my moisturizing or rather my re-moisturizing process to add back all that moisture that I've probably stripped off my face in the shower, in the sink or wherever it is you wash your face. So I use this, the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution, but some people might feel like the solution is too hard for them. So as a substitute, you can either use rose water to add back to balance out the ph of your skin first before you use your moisturizer i saw an esthetician say something about um using a toner first before your moisturizer and how it helps you know your skin to absorb your moisturizer more and since i started trying this method i could see what the esthetician meant by that because my skin feels more supple after like i do this process like in the morning when i wake up i feel my skin feel more like i don't know how to explain it supple is the only word coming to head i have a few breakouts on my face as you guys can see um i cannot help the way my hormones work i can only do a good skincare routine and just hope it takes care of it okay 
oh and yes i also steal this opportunity to also give my face a massage because think about it just like our body we exercise to you know encourage blood circulation around our body but our face doesn't really join in the process so while you're doing your skincare ritual you might as well just give your face some love while at it okay so now i'm going to start moisturizing my face and for this process i use the clinic um dramatically different moisturizing gel this one is for oily skin i think it comes in two uh, prototypes one is for normal to dry skin and one is for oily to combination i think so this is the one for the oily to combination but this moisturizer is quite pricey for me okay so once i'm done with this bottle i'm not going to repurchase it because it's just plain moisturizer there's nothing there's no active ingredients in it so i don't think i'm going to spend that amount of money on it again i'll get a substitute i already have one in mind i'm going to get but i think for this process you can use any moisturizer because it really doesn't do anything it just moisturizes your skin okay yeah i like to rub my moisturizer in with my hands i like to see it dissolve into my skin before i'm okay with it because our pillowcases might just take out you know the rest of it while i was asleep so i'd like to see it absorbed in before i'm okay with it so now to my holy grail rose hip oil if you don't know about this oil uh, just go and do a research and come back like this one is from I don't even know the name Hollywood something something I got it from a beauty supply store around my house it's quite affordable but I think other brands have it in their products uh, line I think the ordinary has it and I think um, what's the other one I can't remember right now but if you can just get your hand on a good rosehip oil this oil is a regenerating oil that's why i call it, it hydrates it moisturizes it helps to exfoliate and helps to brighten your skin it also helps to boost collagen formation helps to reduce inflammation and hyperpigmentation that i can tell you of and best part of it all it's a lightweight oil so for those of you that have all its combination skin just like me you can absolutely get away with using this oil in your nighttime skincare routine thank me later okay thank me later last but definitely not the least the lips y'all keep forgetting this part of your routine i mean why don't you take care of your lips just the same way you take care of your skin your face your hair your body and all that um y'all will be walking around with broken lips and that doesn't look good at all i have over 15 glosses and balms and i don't joke with it that is the best way to take care of chapped lips okay and do that in the night so i can wake up in the morning with better lips okay this is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did you know what to do click the thumbs up button the one that says you like the video and then leave me a comment if you may and if you haven't subscribed this is the best time to do that thank you so much see you in my next video